Where are all these armed MAGAites who are ready to take their guns and confront the elite pedos? Yeah, exactly, man. You big Second Amendment MAGA hat people, how come you're not rounding out the pedophiles? How come you're not rounding them up? You keep waiting for Trump to do it because you read QAnon. Well, Trump's part of this. William Barr's part of this. Let go of that crap. If you're all about, we're going to, you know, take justice, then go get the billionaires. Don't get mad at black people. Black people haven't taken anything away from you. Billionaires have. Immigrants didn't take your jobs. Billionaires did. Billionaires have a global pedophile sex trafficking ring. Billionaires. It's happening right in front of all of us in real time. As Whitney said, it's state-sponsored. So if you're one of these Second Amendment MAGA folks, why don't you get on the right side? Why don't you wake the fuck up? Stop getting mad at poor people and people of color who have been screwed by the system just like you. And why don't you wake up to who's really doing it? Wake up. Don't blame some poor person from Central America that just wants to get a better life because we've sanctioned the crap out of them and ruined their country. Don't get mad at people who just don't want to be murdered by the police. Get mad at the billionaire sex trafficking pedophile. It's, it's here. It exists. It's all over the planet. The most powerful people, schools, churches, political parties. It's unreal. Wake up, man. Wake up. Like, I don't, I don't know what more. You say you, Clay, you care about America? The Second Amendment Trumper, you say you care about American ideals? Yeah, well then get on board. Stop blaming. It's th this two-party system is a ridiculous distraction. It's, a, it's not. It's professional wrestling. Get on board, man. The billionaires are screwing you over. And the politicians in both parties are paid by the billionaires to screw you over. Holy shit. Any Navy SEAL vet, like, or active Navy SEALs, what are you doing? You're trained, you're, you're a Navy SEAL, you're an airborne ranger, what are you doing going and fighting poor brown people in the Middle East? Go get the goddamn billionaires. What are you doing? What oath did you swear on to protect pedophile billionaires and sex trafficking rings? Is that what you swore? Is that why you joined? I'm assuming you joined because you had some sort of noble, honorable intentions. You want to defend the flag? You want to defend the United States and the Constitution? Why don't we start with children? Why don't we defend kids first? And the poor and the voiceless? Why don't we defend them? Why don't we defend them? Rather than killing poor people who are, just happen to live in a country where their, their president doesn't want to give us their oil. Les Wexner's in Ohio. Are you a cop in Ohio? Are you in the Ohio National Guard? What are you doing letting him operate there? I'm serious. What are you doing? <laughs> she was hanging out in, in her boyfriend's in New Hampshire. What were you doing, New Hampshire State Police? What were you doing? Are you really just going to let this happen? Rather than get pissed off and show up at the Capitol because you can't get a haircut, why don't you go why don't you go round up Les Wexner? Do a citizen's arrest. Why don't you do that? Bring him to a court and let's have him let's put Les Wexner on trial. Let's do that. Go do that. Go get Alan Dershowitz. Get Trump. Get the Clintons. Do it. Yeah, man, I'm telling you. And I, I, ha I talk about vets a lot because I've been to Iraq, Afghanistan, and Kuwait as a stand-up comic. I did seven of those tours. That's why I'm so against these wars because I saw like just working class Americans of all ethnicities from every corner of this country, including Guam and American Samoa and all of our territories, serving many of whom serving for very noble reasons, many of serving for financial reasons because there was no jobs where they lived. That's why I talk about the 22 vets a day that commit suicide. 
The United States foreign policy is not serving the American people. It's not keeping America safe. It's keeping billionaires in power. And the intelligence apparatus can still have state-sponsored sex trafficking rings. What the fuck are you in the military for if you're letting this happen? Like, what the fuck? I'm serious. I'm serious. What the fuck are you doing? I got to ask you point blank. You're active duty military? What the fuck oath did you swear? Seriously. Let go of this Republican Democrat business. I'm, I'm, I'm dead. If you are active duty in the military, how are you letting this happen? Are you a part of this? Did you turn a blind eye to this? It's happening not in some crazy foreign... Uh, yes, it is happening all over the world. But I mean, it's happening here on American soil. Epstein was an American citizen. His island was in the U.S. Virgin Islands in American territory. Wake up, kids. Wake the fuck up. The enemy is not the, the, the liberals or the conservatives or the Republicans or the Democrat or, or, or blacks or white. The enemy is the billionaire ruling class. That's the enemy. Not discounting the horrible white nationalists. They're Nazis. My uncles fought Nazis in World War II. They're bad. But the real enemy is the billionaire ruling class that is allowed, that this is happening right here, right now. Hey everybody, like, share, and subscribe. Hit the bell notification button and the subscribe button, even if you've done it before because they're unsubscribing, many of you, every day. Watch the ads all the way through. If you click skip ad, I don't get paid. Also, support us at patreon.com slash Graham Elwood or rockfin.com slash Graham Elwood. Rockfin.com is a blockchain cryptocurrency platform. All my videos are on Rockfin ad free. Thanks for watching.